Hi guys, welcome to ASA Technical. In this video, I will be showing you how to limit TDP for CPU in BIOS. Here are some reasons why you might want to limit the TDP. Number 1. Prevent overheating. By limiting the TDP, the CPU generates less heat, which helps in preventing overheating, especially in environments with inadequate cooling. Number 2. Improve stability. Lower temperatures can lead to more stable system as components are less likely to overheat and throttle or fail. Number 3. Energy efficiency. Limiting TDP reduces power consumption, which can be crucial for battery power devices like laptops or for energy conscious desktop setups. Number 4. Extended hardware life. Operating components at lower temperatures can prolong their lifespan, reducing wear and tear on the CPU and other system components. Number 5. Avoid throttling. By limiting the TDP, the CPU may operate more consistently within its thermal limits, avoiding performance drops due to thermal throttling. And Number 6. Cost savings. Lower power consumption translates to reduce electricity costs, beneficial for both individual users and enterprise running multiple systems. However, if you decide to limit the TDP for your CPU, then this video will definitely help to set the thermal design power limit through the BIOS settings. Here, I will be guiding you by using my predatory Helios Neo 16 for Intel processor. If you have Intel processor based different brand laptop, then you can use this method. Don't worry, the steps may be the same for Intel processor based laptop. So let's get started. At first, you will need to enter your PC's advanced BIOS setup. You might need to use a key combination to unlock it. Note, the steps may vary depending on your laptop manufacturer. For SR laptops, first shut down your laptop completely. Press and hold the function key and tab key on your keyboard. While holding this key, press the power button to turn on your laptop. As soon as the laptop power on, release the function and tab key and immediately begin by pressing the BIOS access key. For SI laptops, it's often F2 key. Check your manufacturer manuals for more details. Once you are in the BIOS setup, you will see the general state of CPU, GPU, RAM, storage and fan. Now click on Advanced Settings. In the Advanced BIOS menu, look for an option named Advanced. Within the Advanced menu, look for settings related to CPU configuration, power management, power and performance or something similar. Within the power and performance menu, look for settings something like CPU settings or CPU power management control. Here you might find the option to adjust TDP. Look for an option related to TDP configuration, TPL configuration or something similar. Note, these settings could be listed as PL1, I mean power limit 1 and power limit 2, which control the long term and short term power limits respectively. Here's my default current turbo settings. As you can see, my power limit 1 is set as 100 watt, which duration is long term, and my power limit 2 is set as 157 watt, which duration is set for short term. For the i9-3900HX, PL1 is typically around 55 to 75 for sustained performance in most laptop configuration. But in this laptop, I think PL1 at 100 watts. this is actually higher than typically for PL1 settings in laptop, as it significantly exceeds the usual TDP. Although these settings might be used in high performance laptop, but according to its cooling solutions, I think it's much more. And PL2 is often around 125 watts to 157 watt for this i9-3900HX processor which allowing the higher burst performance. 
I think this is within expected range for short term power limits, which is allowing the CPU to utilize its maximum boost capacities. However, now I'll be select the config TDB configuration settings to modify the TDB limit. Now change the value to your desired limit according to your CPU's PL1 limit. Note, this is the suspended power limit often corresponding to CPU's TDP and is intended for long term continuous workload. But be cautious not to set too low as it could significantly impact your system's performance. Here I'll be set a little lower than typical value. So I'll be set PL1 at 35 watt and click yes to confirm. Next. I'll be set the PL2 at 75W and click on yes to confirm. Next, I'll be set the power limit one time window which is also known as tau value. Determines how long the CPU can sustain power consumption at PL1 level before to throttle down to avoid overheating or overconsumption. This time window is crucial for balancing performance and thermal management. For a CPU with PL1 of 35W and a PL2 of 75W, the appropriate PL1 time window value depends on the several factors. Include the cooling solution, the workload and the specific CPU and the system design. Shorter time window should be set at 28 seconds or less if you don't have a robust cooling solutions and longer time window can be set at 28 to 96 seconds if you have robust cooling solutions. So I'll be set tau to 56 seconds according to my cooling solutions. Next I'll be leaving config TDP turbo activation ratio to default. Now save the changes by pressing F10 key on the keyboard and confirming the save by click on yes. After saving changes, exit the BIOS. After saving changes and exit the BIOS, the system will restart with new settings applied. If your BIOS does not provide an option to limit TDP, you can use software tool such as Intel Extreme Tuning Utility for Intel Brace Positions. Download and install Intel XTU from the Intel official website. After installing, open Intel XTU. and navigate to advanced tuning section. Now you can adjust the turbo boost power max and turbo boost short power max values to limit TDP. Ok, as you can see after applying these settings, there is noticeable changes in CPU temperature section. So I hope this guide was helpful for you. If you have any question or any advanced guide then please let us know. Please like, comment and share, we need your support and guys please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you, thanks for watching, have a nice